Imagine an AI powerful enough to design new medicines, predict nuclear fusion breakthroughs, and analyze America's most secure scientific secrets. Now imagine that same AI has unprecedented access to US government data, working with big tech giants like Google, Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, and more. This is not science fiction. This is the Genesis mission, Donald Trump's bold new initiative that could reshape global science or spark a massive debate over data, power, and AI control. On November 24th, Trump signed an executive order to open the data vaults of 17 national labs and let private companies and researchers build advanced AI models. These labs hold petabytes of data, from nuclear research to quantum simulations, and house some of the world's fastest supercomputers. The goal? To double US research productivity within a decade. Think about the breakthroughs before AI, the Human Genome Project, nuclear reactors, early government-developed internet protocols. Now imagine AI doing all that faster. Genesis promises to solve nuclear fusion bottlenecks, design new materials for space and tech, automate drug discovery, build AI scientists that generate hypotheses and run experiments automatically. More than 50 companies are already involved, OpenAI, NVIDIA, Future House, and more, creating a national-scale AI research environment. But there's risk. Who owns the discoveries? Could sensitive nuclear or energy data leak? What if AI models hallucinate or miscalculate? And centralizing this power in a few corporations, is that safe? The Genesis mission is a gamble. It could accelerate discovery and restore US innovation, or create the biggest handover of federal scientific data to big tech ever. One thing is certain, Genesis will shape the next decade of global science, and possibly the next 50 years of American power. What do you think? A revolutionary leap for innovation or a risky concentration of power? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you want more deep dives into the future of AI and innovation, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.